I'm not putting on lashes today. You can't make me. You're not even my real dad. What is up guys? I'm Nisha and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a project pan and empties video for the third time and talking way too much. So if that's something that you're interested in, Keep on watching. All right, so um, all right. So first up is my project pan update. I am panning the Kuda's Gold palette currently, and I think the last update I just had pan on our team, and now I have pan on State of Mind and what is this? Twenty four carats. So that is very very exciting. I wrote this down. A little bit ago and I put like pan on two shades about to hit pan on another because state of mind was the latest pan that I hit well latest pan that, latest eyeshadow that I hit pan on and I hit pan on it literally this eye look and look at how like look at how that is already all right I have pretty big dips in these two shades and this one it's okay it's a shimmer, so it's going to take me a long time. So, yeah, I am very, very excited about the uses that I'm getting out of this. So, I am excited for that. And I currently have that on my eyes right now. I like it. There we go. Next up is my Ulta eyebrow tint. I can't really see uh, much of a difference. Like, I... When I first started panning it, I used to have to scrape off the edges of the brush, otherwise there'd be too much products, product on the brush. I no longer have to do that, but like there isn't a side where I can like swipe and show you like, look at how much I've used. It's, uh, and I typically just use the pencil. I did use the tint today, but I've been really, really working on that pencil. So it's 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 coming i guess uh next up speaking of the br of that pencil is my color pop boss color pop boss brow eye pencil color pop boss brow eye pencil in auburn uh i'm working on it all right so my color pop boss brow pencil let me just twist this all the way up that is as Well, I had just that. I cannot find it. I, I simply cannot find it. So I'm very pleased to announce that live on camera, I'm done with my ColourPop pencil. Okay, will you go up anymore? No, it does the clicking thing. Yeah, I'm. it's, it's done, it's gone. Moving on. <laughs> Another item that I am almost done with, like so close to being done with that it hurts, is my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. So here's like the brush. I'm gonna do this. Can you hear how empty that is? I'm like scraping on the sides. It is, actually, can I just... It, I've taken the stopper out. There's some along the sides and some at the very bottom. So I am almost, almost done. And I am ecstatic. So yeah. Next up is my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So if you can see right there, yes, kind of. There's a little bit on the sides, like I can, I can swirl it and I can get some on the sides, like so just some gaps. So I know that it's getting done. I might take out the stopper here soon. And that excites me, but then I have like three more to get through. So happy to be done with this one, yay. But I am excited with the amount of usage that I'm getting out of everything. I almost, no, never mind. Yeah, I almost have to dip in twice in order to get the coverage that I want. Almost. I kind of like, normally I just have to like, you know, use the front of the doe foot, stamp, stamp, swipe, swipe, and then I'm good. I have to like stamp, swipe, and then flip it over to the back and use the leftover product on that now. So 
we're getting there. Next up is my Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette. I can't remember if I had hit champagne, or can't remember if I had hit pan and champagne pop the uh, first update that I did, but I definitely have hit a big pan and champagne pop now, and I've hit pan and prosecco pop. Yay! Oh, I'm working on the blushes. The bl blushes are hard to pan. The biggest dip I have is in this one, which is, it's probably faded, give me a minute. Yeah, it is amaretto. That is probably the biggest biggest dip where you can see along the side, kind of. It's, it's gonna take me forever to get through these blushes. I'll probably be like completely done with the highlighters before I'm even considering being done with the blushes. So that's exciting, but pans in both highlighters. Hallelujah. Next up is my MAC lip balm. I'll put what it actually is called somewhere on the screen. I'm not even gonna drag it out because I have not been using it. I simply keep forgetting. I just simply keep forgetting. I think I put too many lip products in because there are a couple that have definitely fallen to the wayside. So I'll keep at it. Next up is my Kat Von D Lolita Everlasting Lip Liner. It is completely completely done, which I figured was gonna happen eventually because I had literally a nub, but she's done. Yay. So I have been using, I kind of neglected using my Handbag Ho lip liner just because I was focusing so hard on this because it had so little. So I'll go into Handbag Ho more later, but I've definitely been using it more now that I've finished this, but I'm excited, this was one of the oldest things that I've had, so goodbye. Next up is my Becca Mystery Lip Liner. Well, it's the Becca, it's in the shade mystery. It's not like a mystery shade. I can't find it, but I've used it a little bit. I don't really use reds and pinks too much, so I've used it a fair, I've used it, a, I guess I've used it like four-ish times, so it's a little bit shorter, but sorry. All right, so next we're gonna actually get into the Kylie Handbag Ho lip liner. So it is definitely more used since the last time because I, okay, I don't know why I took the cap off. When I took the cap off, it covers the K a little bit on Coco. Here, I'm, I had it right this way. It's just flipped because it's a camera, duh. I, it covers the K a little, little bit on Coco. That is so flesh toned, I hate it. Anyway, uh, and it didn't cover the K on Coco. It was kind of like, it's probably about like right here. So I've, I've used it after I started using, um, after, oh, excuse me, after I started using, after I finished using Lolita, I started using this, but I did focus on Lolita and using Hotty Toddy a lot in the beginning of this project pan. So, I'm excited to see where this goes. I think I'm gonna be really sad to see her go, especially because uh, she didn't come back with the Kylie Cosmetics like relaunch, but I need to pan things because they need to be used. Yay. So I'm excited about this. Speaking of Live Glam Hottie Toddy and Velvet Teddy, Live Glam Hottie Toddy and Velvet Teddy. So I haven't really used Velvet Teddy a lot. I, I just, I, I have lip colors that I lean more towards and ones that I don't, and mauves, pinks, reds just aren't my favorite. I'm trying, but I guess I'm just going through my favorites first. And then Hot Toddy, you can see there's a little bit of gapping on like that edge right there. Uh, if I swirl it, it definitely spreads. So I think I'll be finishing this one up maybe by the end of this month or next month, so. That's exciting. My bang got messed up. It doesn't matter. Next up is the Elf and Nabella liquid lipstick. So I've been using this one a lot instead of Velvet Teddy. And again, as you can see, there's a lot of gappage on the side. And if I swirl it, like you can see that it's starting to definitely not have as much product in it, which is great. Again, I'll be sad to see this go, but I have so many peachy nude lipsticks. Yes, so, and then I'm sure once I'm done with this, I will definitely be moving on to using more of 
Velvetetti. Next up is Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in The Better The Hoops. Have not used it. I, I mean, I've used it like somewhat, but like I can swirl it and I barely see any gappage. Like I, it's, I've used it maybe like three times. I don't wear pinks. I simply do not wear pinks. I'm sure I will get to it. <laughs> I'm sure I'll use it more. Why am I lying to myself? I'm gonna really make an effort. I'm gonna really, really, really make an effort for the next at least couple of eye looks to have a pink or mauve lip. I'm going to really try, I promise. Next is my Makeup Revolution Luxur Luxury? Luxurious? Yeah, la 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 la. Next up is my Makeup Revolution Lip Topper in Luxurious. So once again, this might be a little bit harder to see just because you can see that gapping right there in the middle. Let me swirl this. Oh, that, don't, don't put your the sticker. Like you can definitely see that one just cut through. So once again, I think I need to take out the stopper here soon and that will really, really help. But I see me finishing this in like the next month or so. So that's exciting. Next is my e.l.f. face palette and it is completely done, technically. So what happened was I finished the bronzer and the contour, yes, the bronzer and the contour, and I still had a lot of face powder. I had hit pan in this one, I was close to hitting pan in this one, and then I was on like super pan of my Makeup Revolution powder. So I combined all the face palettes powders together to make this like Franken powder in here, which I mean, I'll, I'm, I was supposed to talk about this next anyway, but I made the Franken powder. It was filled up to the brim and there's already pan again. So I, I'm blowing through the powders. I am going through the powders and I am stoked. But in the meantime, since, doo -doo -doo, since the Elf face palette had bronzer and contour, I switched out while I'm using, while I, blah, blah, blah. since the e.l.f. palette had bronzer and contour, I didn't want to specifically pan any bronzer and contour because once I'm done enough with that Becca palette, I'm going to try and pan uh, another face palette that has face powders, highlight, blushes, bronzer, contour, all that good stuff. So for fun, I have been using my doo -doo -doo, little birthday sample of NARS Laguna and and the Catrice Sungasm Bronzer. And I hit pan in the Catrice Sungasm Bronzer. I love this, I love this bronzer. I actually really, really love this bronzer. If I ever need to repurchase a bronzer, I will be repurchasing this bronzer. But look at that little baby pan in the corner. Look at that, ugh. So that is very, very exciting and fun. So, surprise, this project, I'm, I'm blowing through. I'm gonna keep using this bronzer, that way I can expand the pan because I kind of just use, the, the only reason why I have pan is because I have like an angle brush and I'll dig in and on the, like that corner. So if you look, if you can see here on like this corner, there's still some like embossing because it says like sungasm all over. And then over here, there's nothing in pan. So it's kind of like a fake pan to where everything should be like leveled out just a little bit. But instead it's like this one corner is really down and the rest of it isn't. So I'll keep using this. Next is my Fenty Powder Foundation. Now I wasn't really trying to pan this because this is the foundation that I just kind of use. And in my last update, I said that I was gonna use this one and then like press the two together or whatever. And I realized that was really dumb. So I just repressed this one and it is everywhere. It is everywhere. It will be finished soon. I'm just gonna shut this because it is everywhere, but it's going to be finished soon. So that is very exciting. And then I can move on to my other one that I already have. So, Yay! 
So that was the last of my project pan updates. Let's get into my empties. First empty is this little VDL Lumi layer primer. It was a little sample that I got from Sephora. I don't like it. It's called the Luminous Primer, the Lumi layer. Uh, purple does not mean luminous. Iridescent purple doesn't mean luminous. It j it's kind of like the issue that I had with the hourglass <laughs> with the hourglass face primer how it just kind of turned to be purple i know that that's like a mineral with like a sunscreen thing but that just left like a purple layer that was almost impossible to get away from so i would i i got it as a free sample but i would never purchase it but i used it there we go next is this little sample of the ulta beauty poreless face primer it's all right it's a filling face primer. I use this one and the Lumi layer and then this one and another one that I'm gonna talk about. I would use this in this area since I have some pretty big pores there. Look at that pimple. Oh, I just have some pretty big pores in this area, but it's all right. If uh, James Welsh has this like tier list for like skincare and one of the like mid, mid layers is Snice nice it's nice it's nice so it's nice i'm gonna be um t stealing that because i love it so it gets a solid it's nice <laughs> finally is this little sample size of the maybelline master prime eye primer or eye primer master prime just it's just a primer why do, why am i trying to add another thing to it it's just a face primer the master prime hydrating face primer there we go apparently it's okay i love this primer actually it smells amazing it did great things to hydrate but maybelline is not cruelty free so i will not certainly not be repurchasing it but as a free sample it was great it meshed well because i like i said i used the poreless face primer there and then i put the luminous plate luminous primer or hydrating primer. what am i trying to say i would put the pore filling primer here and then i put the hydrating primers like on my forehead nose and like this area this meshed really well with the ulta primer it smells really nice it's just not cruelty free and that's why i more than likely won't be repurchasing it next is my cerave renewing sa salicylic acid Cleanser. I love this. I've already repurchased it um, in a big bottle and I'm currently going through it now because I have another sample size face cleanser that I wanted to use before this and I finished for that too. So spoilers, there's another cleanser in here. Woo. But love this. If you have acne, oily prone skin, or just issues with, I have, I have, combination skin like I've become more dry since I've been in California but I'm also like super oily and I have massive pores here and I feel like this does a great job of like starting to exfoliate while clearing up blemishes with the salicylic acid I love this I love this cleanser if you need a cleanser I would highly highly suggest this one all right that cleanser that I talked about is actually the first aid beauty pure skin face cleanser with First Aid Beauty Antioxidant Booster. It's, it's nice. It was all right. It, cl it cleaned my face. This was free, but if I, I don't know if I would buy the full size version of it. It's just okay. Just okay. Next is the Truly Acai Your Boobies Lifting Boob Polish to Firm and Titan. And it's acai spelled like, you know, the berry. A-C-A-I. Uh, it's okay. I have other body exfoliators that I like more. I truly bought into the hype of like, I have saggy titties. Maybe this will help my saggy titties. They won't. They won't. If they're like mine, they won't. So, I have other body cleansers that I like more. The First Aid Beauty, they have this KP uh, scrub that I absolutely love. So, it's overpriced. I don't like it, so... Bye. All right, last but certainly not least is my First Aid Beauty BFD Cleansing Oil. Now I have another one of these that I have as a backup and then I've also bought the DHL Cleansing Oil on sale. So 
I love this cleansing oil. I prefer a cleansing oil over a cleansing balm. This doesn't have um, plastics in it. A lot of cleansing oils and cleansing balms will have some sort of plastic in it to help give it like, you know, that feel of like emulsifying and just like a slip. That way you really feel like it's getting all over your face and it gets into your pores. I don't wanna rub plastics on my face and I don't wanna wash plastics down into my water system. So there's enough plastic in our oceans. So I think this is a great facial cleanser, like as, a, as an oil-based cleanser, and there's no plastic in it. So it puts my little ecological heart at ease. Steve Irwin would be so proud. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything that I have today. I have some surprise pans. I have some planned pans. I have a lot of pans, which I am very, very excited for. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Is What, what are you panning? What do you want to see me pan even? Like, do you want me to pan another eyeshadow? You don't know my eyeshadow palette collection. Why am I asking that question? What do you want to pan? <laughs> I'm going to say it one more time just because I can. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.